It is said that none of the bodies to date have been found. Welcome back to the channel and of course welcome back to another unexplainable ad Adventure. So you guys have been bombarding my comment section to come back and camp out throughout the night. Me and Past Life Explorer are here deep in the woods. We've gone even further into the forest to see if we can investigate. Now, if you can hear that noise in the background, we've got Past Life Explorer's butt over there. He is clearing the way. We are gonna set up the tent and yes, we are gonna stay all night in in this very terrifying and haunted forest. If you don't know the story of the photographer and what he did to his victims, I will play that clip for you of me explaining it right now. Around 40 years ago, there was a known photographer would come into this forest and he would camp out. What he did was he put ads in the paper that he wanted to photograph people to give these models a opportunity to have their very own portfolio. Now what he would do is bring them to this here forest Then tragically he would take their lives, he would put them into the river, wash them, drain them of their blood, pose them at a makeshift dinner table that he had made from the wood and the bark. He would wine and dine them, date them, mistreat them and then bury their bodies in the middle of the woods. It is said that none of the bodies to date have been found. So now that you guys are all up to date, I think that it is time to, to set up the tent and get ready for tonight's terrifying paranormal investigation overnight in this haunted forest. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm really scared right now and I haven't even started tonight's investigation. <clears throat> Do you like our fire there? We've managed to keep the fire going, so that's good at least. What was that? Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna cope tonight. So we've just taken precautions. We've put all the food that we had out in the car. There's no food outside now so I mean I don't think we have bears hopefully we don't have coyotes even though one of the areas that we went to about a month ago I was in a wooded area and I didn't actually put this video up because it was as I was filming, I got about two minutes into filming, the sound of coyotes was surrounding me. I was all by myself. Pielli wasn't here with me. So I, I ran for my life. Yeah, I was not hanging around. So unfortunately that video didn't get filmed and I nearly got eaten for dinner by coyotes. I don't know why I just said it like that. Coyotes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna check our surroundings and I guess get started. <laughs> Pielli, I am gonna set you up to a challenge if you are willing to accept. So. Oh my. Hello. There's noises coming from all around. Okay, PLE, I am gonna set you a challenge and your challenge is this. You are to take your camera and just 
a flashlight, go on in to the forest for 10 minutes alone. Sold. Are you going to do it? Whilst you're on a solo, I'm going to go into the tent and I'm going to use the dowsing rods to see if I can pick anything up at all. Now, remember, guys, we are in the forest where the photographer lured people into the forest on a promise that they were going to become models and get a free portfolio for their career, their modeling career. Again, if you haven't seen the first video, make sure that you go and see it. It will be linked down below in the description. So just keep that in mind. We're in a dangerous, dangerous part of this forest and our mission is to try and see if we can locate roughly the area of where these bodies have been buried. Okay, Pielli, the stage is yours. Off you go, my friend. 10 minutes solo alone. <laughs> Okay guys, this is actually a first for me doing this. And I decided to do a little bit different and this is not even my channel. It's time for us to experiment on Shani's channel. Isn't this creepy? Past Life Explorer is now off on his solo. I pray that he's gonna be okay out there by himself. I don't know how far he's gone, but um, I'm sure you guys will see throughout this. So whilst PLE is off doing his solo explore, I'm here in the tent <laughs> and I'm gonna use the dowsing rods to see if I can communicate with any of the lost souls that may be lingering around in this forest and I also want to see if I can try and communicate with the poor poor souls that were tragically taken by that evil disgusting fake photographer you, there is wolves or coyote or something down here bear Black bear is possible here in PA. What the? F I swear to God, I just saw something right there. It was like moving. I don't know if it's my camera. Let me do that again. I don't know. I don't know. But I thought I saw something between that tree right there, like to the left. Am I making this stuff up or is that this? What is that? You guys see that? No, I'm not kidding. What is that? Guys, I'm not moving my flashlight and that thing keeps coming in and out of frame. I am frightened. What is that? I'm not gonna lie. I can hear footsteps. Now remember, PLE is nowhere near me. He's in the forest. He's filming. So you would hear him talking? Okay, let's do this. Um, okay, I hope that's just, it's, it's the fire crackling. We're gonna go with that, it's the fire crackling. And I'm holding my flashlight still and it's like coming in a frame and it goes out. No, I'm like excited now, but yet I'm like scared. What the hell is that? No, this disappeared. I, I, I don't have any questions. I don't have any answers to that. Hello to anybody that may be here with me tonight. My name is Chantel. Some people call me Shani. Charlie. Why was that sound like that was double? Charlie, hello Charlie. Is it okay if I speak with you tonight? Cross the rods for yes. There we go. Oh, Charlie, thank you so much. 
grandfather. I just got chills. I... Right, guys, for those that have been following me for a long time, you all know that my great grandfather watches over me and he follows me everywhere I go. He's my guardian angel. He's my protector. He always has been since I left home and started traveling. Death. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Well, that makes sense because of the part of the woods that we're in and why we're here as well. I will link the video down below where I made contact with my great grandfather for the first time. I was in the Baltimore catacombs and as embarrassing as it is, I burst out crying. There, he was telling. Relative. Relative? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, granddad. Hello, hello, thank you. Grandad, clearly you're here protecting me. Now, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. And I heard footsteps. Oh my God, that fire just got really big. Okay, I'm gonna, I am literally, I don't know whether I'm, I'm gonna freak out or cry. Now I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna link that video down below. Now usually he only comes through really strong if I'm in danger so that i kind of feel easy that he's here but i feel scared at the same time yeah so earlier we heard some uh i don't know what it was coyote something but uh this is guys like shani was saying it's a forest we're deeper into that forest at night now where the photographer had um killed his victims after promising them careers that he knew people um you could take pictures of them send them over to california or somewhere like that i think it was california and um could give them a uh, model work to be part of the um i don't know some kind of magazine back in the day and uh they would turn up missing and actually, most of them were never found. But um, we are in the location of it. Which is where exactly the bodies were buried, I don't know. We may never know. What was that? Granddad, thank you so much. You are my guardian angel. Yes. Granddad, I love you. Yes. Um, and I thank you so much that you are always protecting me. Now, Charlie, are you still here? Yes. Charlie, did you die in battle? No. Is there somebody... Cold. Cold. Is there somebody else here that died in battle? Yes. Are you a good spirit? Yes. Thank you to the spirits that are here protecting me, especially my granddad. I love you. Thank you so much. But the reason... Edith. Edith. Hello, Edith. Now, I am looking the peoples whose lives were taken by the fake photographer. Are you here? Yes. Oh my gosh, that was a big yes. Charlie, are you one of those people? Yes. Thank you. Edith, are you one of those people? Yes. Oh my gosh. Charlie, Edith, I am so, so sorry that that happened to you. Now, I, I heard, or many people heard, that your bodies were buried in this forest. Is that true? Yes. Thank you. Charlie, Edith, am I near where your bodies are? Oh my God.
hot. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. Wow. Are you too scared? I I am scared. Yes. I'm very scared. I'm 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 scared for me here tonight. And I'm scared and uh, very upset for what happened to all of you. Yes. Now, am I safe here tonight? Can you answer me that? Am I safe? <sighs> like I'm scared? But I gotta do this, or else my wife gets mad. <laughs> Blame it on her. Uh, now, to those who are new and stuff, <laughs> to us, she's she's not making me do this. I'm doing this voluntarily. <laughs> but, um, let's try to walk up here a little bit. What is that? Seriously, what is that? Okay, just a leaf. Oh my gosh. And what really frightens me is the fact that I saw or heard, I didn't see. I heard like wailing, like animal wailing, not like, you know? And I don't hear them. I haven't heard them in the past half hours, so I don't know if uh, where they could be. In my head, I I said, "Will you protect me?" And PLE, shush. shush. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it said shush. So we're just gonna be quiet for just a second. Hello? I can hear walking out there. I like using this. I'm glad and I'm, I'm happy that you find it easy to use that as well. What the hell was that? Guys, if you're new to me, to PLE, um, I take things on a different approach. I do historical things, abandoned, I explore. Um, but within the explore, I like to catch things because times I will catch things, just being normal. Of the exp nah, okay, let me take that back. Not being normal. I'm definitely not normal. I wear a mask. How is that normal? But, um, I usually catch something while exploring or into the abandoned. And I may have caught something earlier on this, like five minutes ago. If I see glowing eyes, I'm out. And uh, I'm already too freaking scared. Cause like, again, guys, you can't see what I'm holding, but it's a little small mag light. Three trees. Why do I get a feeling like someone's going to pop up right beside of me? Life Explorer is going to be done very, very shortly with his solo walk, and then it's my turn. <laughs> Great. Just another quick question Are there more people buried here in this forest? Presence beyond mirror. Presence beyond mirror? Oh no.
if you've been following me for a while, you look right. The car is all the way down there, but I brought two mirrors with me. One of the mirrors is what I used for the Bloody Mary and all the other Paragames challenges because I was hoping to get enough time to be able to do episode two of the Paragames whilst I'm out here in the forest. And like I said, one of those mirrors, one's brand new because I needed two mirrors for this next challenge, but one of the mirrors is the exact same mirror that I used for all of the, the Paragames challenges. And again, for those that have been following me for a while knows that I summoned Mary and she scratched me really bad and choked me. So presence beyond mirror, great feel really uneasy right oh my god oh my god who's outside the tent all right guys well i think i'm good on my part shane's going to give you the lowdown on hers and how she investigates but um for now this is how i keep it and um that's how we uh tell people like us so I explore things and catch things and she goes at a full paranormal. But um, we shall see. All right, guys, I'm going to go walk this path down here. Right here. I'm going to walk this path down here and get back to base camp. I will see you guys very soon. Love you all. Hello? Okay. Okay, Charlie, Edith. Please wait and listen. Okay, I'll listen, I'll listen. Charlie, Edith, are you still here? Okay. Like I said, Pielli is going to be back any minute, so let's just, let's finish this. I'll get you. No! Who? Who are you? Are you the photographer? No. Are you a spirit? Yes. Are you an evil spirit? Yes. Are there any more victims here with me tonight? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's massive. That was powerful. Okay. Taste. Taste? Taste what? I don't want to taste anything. Is there more than 10 victims here? Yes. Oh my gosh, that is so strong. Okay, is there more than 20 victims? Yes, okay. So that was a little yes. Okay, 21. Okay, so only cross yes. If it's the right number, if it's not the exact number, just stay pointing forward, okay? We're hiding here. 25, 26, 27 victims, 28, 
29. 30. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I will talk to you all a little bit later, but I can see PLE's flashlight coming back. So I think he's done with his solo. Past Life Explorer. Florence. Florence, there's another name. Hello, Florence. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go and find out what happened with him. Stick around because it's now my turn to go solo. Okay, I, I'm, I'm really scared. I am not gonna lie. So, oh my gosh, I'm still near base camp as well. Okay, I'm gonna go further. Oh gosh, I nearly fell over. I'm gonna go into the forest here. This is my 10 minute solo. Pielli is going to take his position in the tent. Um, okay. So I communicated with... Oh, moths. I communicated with some of the souls. Charlie, Edith. There was a few that came through. Um... Okay, you can see the fire in the background. Guys, I'm not going to go too far away from base camp because that will just be stupid. So if you see a flash in the back like that, just behind my head, oh, that way, that's the fire that's burning. Past Life Explorer is in the tent. Okay, there's a car. Gosh, that car is crawling by. Okay, guys, now let me tell you something. Oh, oh, hello? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, right. So we just, I took a quick break. Um, after I did the the solo in the tent and after P PLE went off and did his solo out here and a car pulled up to us like this black SUV pulled up to us okay and these two people really dodgy were in the car they roll down their windows call us over and they just said to us did you know it's easy to hide bodies out here they said it three times three times and uh we just kind of went uh -huh. oh I, I guess so and then they just drove off nothing else that's all they said to us did you know it's easy to hide bodies out here and then they left like what okay okay let's do this let's do this <sighs> okay so here we are that's the fire in the background guys I am hearing footsteps. I don't like this at all. At all. <sighs> okay. <sighs> so again, my name is Chantel. <gasps> I come with a kind and open heart. Now I am here spending the night for the first time camping because I heard a tragic story that happened here. Oh, I got chills and it's boiling hot out here, I'm not going to lie. Now I heard a story that there was a fake photographer, a murderer, that lured people into this forest. My voice is shaking and tragically took their lives. That's coyotes. 
That's coyotes. That's coyotes. That's coyotes. Oh my God, I hope you guys are hearing this. Right, I'm going back. I'm going back to the fire because that is a pack of coyotes. I'm getting in the car. Right, guys, I'm so sorry. Call me a wimp. Call me whatever you want, but that's a pack of coyotes. And I'm getting in the car right now. That's not funny. I'm shaking. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if, if we're safe out here. And it stopped. Guys, I hope you heard that. I really do apologise if none of this makes sense. Um, I'm, sh I'm actually shaking. The spirit box hasn't even gone off. <laughs> moved. Okay, it just said moved. As I said, it hasn't gone off. It said moved. Okay. Who's moved? Oh my gosh, who's here with me? Apart from the blooming coyotes. I'm really sorry if this is all mumbo jumbo and I'm not making sense and I'm sorry if I'm standing still for way too long. My whole body is shaking. I, I genuinely am, I'm scared. I'm really, really scared right now. Um, I know I've been saying I want to be pushed to the limit and I want to test myself and I want to do more. Beverly, Beverly, Beverly. Hello, Beverly. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, breathe, breathe. I'm, I'm, I am scared. I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm so scared I can't move. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Beverly, where are you? Again, I really apologise, everybody. I am, I'm so, so... Too many. What? 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 Too many what? That's the fire in the back there. There are too many souls. How many bodies were buried out here? Can you tell me that? Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. I challenge anybody safely to do this alone too many how many bodies were buried out here in this forest oh my gosh guys if you hear anything or see anything please make sure that you let me know Okay, that's Past Life Explorer there. Um, I've asked him to sit by the fire. And I know that's kind of against the, um, the rules of the solo. But after hearing those coyotes, guys, I'm, I'm not going to put my life at risk. So uh, technically it's not a solo, but it is because I'm walking around by myself. But again, I, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going <laughs> to... Probably not. What do you mean, probably not? So, with the berry, with the, sorry, I can't speak. <sighs> were the bodies scattered around in this forest? I want to go further by myself, but after, after hearing those coyotes, I'm, I'm too, I'm too terrified. I'm too terrified to go further away. And you guys know that I've got ghost balls, right? You know I've got the biggest ghost balls out there. 
but um no not for my first camping trip um i'm not gonna make this the last you know um it said ball okay that's the fire cracking Whew, okay i'm gonna give it sorry i burped <laughs> I'm going to give it another couple of minutes. So if you have a message, if there's anything that you want to tell me. Oh, God. Now, I was going to do this completely in the dark, but um, I, I pooped it a little bit. So, And it's completely pitch, 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 pitch back out here. Is there anything you can say to, to give me an understanding of what you went through, of what happened? Maybe tell me roughly where you are, where all the bodies were buried. What? Dictatory? Okay, I don't know what that says and I don't know what it means. Gives. Gives. Gives what? Oh my gosh. Incorrect. What's it, what did I get? What did I get wrong? Julia, there's so many names. I told you, I told you. I know that I'm in the right place. Julia, hello. Oh, oh what was that? What was that? Okay. Well, I'm going to say thank you for communicating with me. I'm going to I'm going to go back to the fire. I'm going to go back to base now. Hello? Oh my God, I can hear my voice echoing. That's how far into these forests we are. Hello? Okay, again, look. Past Life Explorer is sitting right there. He isn't moving. I've asked him to stay there and to try and be as quiet as possible. Because again, I, I, I can't do this. I can't do this on my own. And how... Letter. Is there a letter to be found? Oh my God, can you imagine? Oh my gosh. Well, my time, my time is up. So I'm going to say thank you so much for communicating with me. Anybody that came through and spoke with me tonight, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Again, I'm so sorry for what happened. Oh my God, that car is back. Look. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, that's the same car that I was telling you about that said, do you know how easy it is to hide bodies out here? Okay, oh, they've stopped, they've stopped. Okay guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna like just recoup, um, make sure that we're safe. I'm probably gonna go and sit in the car for a little bit um, because I feel so much safer in a big metal vehicle rather than out here or in a tent right now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it through the night, um, but you guys will see in the morning. I'm going to try and attempt to record a sleeping as well. Probes? Oh my God, the last time we were here it said alien, and now it says probes. Is there aliens here? My God, that's a whole different story in itself. Okay, guys, I'm going to go now. Again, thank you so much. Favourite. Who's your favourite? Oh, my 
God, I hope I... What does that even say? Vin vindicating. What does that mean? I don't know much. I'm British. Okay, it's time to go. Thank you for communicating with me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I respect you all. Please, I hope you are resting peacefully. Um, I'm so sorry once again for what happened to you, but I'm going to go. Guys, um, I'm, I'm going to call it right here. Again, I'm going to try and attempt to stay the night. <laughs> Lethally. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's time for me to go. Um, if you see more footage, then we made it. If not, then thanks for joining me, I guess. <gasps> what does that? I can hear the coyotes again. Okay, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to end it here. I'm, I'm going back to base camp. <sighs> Way out. Okay, guys, so me and Past Life Explorer are now in the tent. We're going to attempt to settle down for the night, but we've been sat in here for, for a little while now. And, okay, so you can hear the birds and the critters, but there's also other noises going on as well. And... I would be lying if I told you that I was feeling absolutely fine. Um, this is scary, but at the same time, I am having just the time of my life. It's been absolutely amazing spending time with Past Life Explorer, sitting by the fire and talking and just enjoying our time together. I'm going to leave the camera rolling whilst we are sleeping tonight. If anything happens, you will see that. If not, then we will see you in the morning. Good night, guys. Okay, guys, so, um, it's about 2.30 two in the morning. I've just woken up. I can hear someone singing in the background. Let me... Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can hear it. I'm going to be quiet for a sec and see if you can hear it. think it is? What? A lady in the woods just haunting a forest and just singing when she's walking. Stop. No, really, there was footsteps out there. It's really hard to hear because of all the critters in the birds. Okay. That was, that was a female singing. Why? We are in the middle of the woods. Why is there going to be anybody out here happy singing? Yeah, I can't hear it anymore. Okay, I'm scared. I'm... Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to try and go back to sleep. Okay, guys, if... If anything else happens, I'll let you know. Oh my gosh. Good night, guys.
currently the next day. As you can see, we're, we're back home now. So much happened. At the moment, I don't know how much footage I actually managed to catch from throughout the night. What I do know is that Libby and Shani, I forgot to plug in the night vision camera, so that quickly died off the bat. Now, I do remember filming a little bit when we got woken up. There were so many noises, so many sounds. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say, Shani, those sounds are just natural. Twigs and branches, they break break, animals step on them, leaves fall from the trees, and I know, I understand. Having said that, there was, there was some strange, strange things going on. There was one instance that I know I didn't manage to capture on camera because at this moment in time, everything had gone dead. Now it must have, and I was talking to Past Life Explorer about this as we got home just now, and we were both woken up by the screeching, terrifying, howling sound of a pack of coyotes. Now I get it, again, we're in the forest, and when I was on my solo, we also heard the pack of coyotes surrounding us. That wasn't the only time that it happened throughout the night. This one that I'm talking about right now, this pack was so close to the tent, but the thing is, we heard them approach. We heard the screeching, howling noises of this pack of coyotes. But do you think we heard them leave? No. The noises just stopped dead. And when I tell you the time that this happened, and we've only just put two and two together, it was 3.33 in the morning. To the dot, if you know what I'm getting at. 3.33 in the morning is the precise time that the spiritual realm, that the veil to the spiritual realm is at its thinnest. This is the time when witches, demons, ghosts, ghouls, monsters, whatever you want, can come through. They are at their strongest point at 333. Now, nothing like this has ever happened to me before, not to this extent. But guys, when I tell you, I was scared, scared to the core last night. I hope that I got enough footage for you. If it can at least get 50 likes and you guys comment enough down in, the, my eyes are watering already just saying this, but if you can spam the comments, I will go back and, and stay the night again. I'm literally about to cry. Guys, when I tell you I was terrified, I, I mean it. That was a scary night. Don't get me wrong, the whole experience was fantastic. I loved the whole experience, but this was different. I've been alone in forests. I've tried communicating to the other side, to, to the other out many, many times. But this one was different. Considering the reasons why we was there. The story that I told you of what happened to those poor, poor people. Now I'm also going to leave you with just one more thing before I go. And that is, if you can spam the comments with hashtag after dark, I will personally go back to those woods with the intention of playing Randonautica to see if I can try and find any evidence that correlates to any of the tragic murders that happened in that forest. Now, as you've seen already, we got some 
damn good evidence. Everything was pointing to the fact that the story was true and that the bodies were still there. So I'm gonna leave this with you today. I'm gonna go and get some sleep, maybe wash my hair, <laughs> sort this out, I, I don't know. Guys, once again, thank you so, so much for joining me on another unexplainable adventure. This one was a mighty terrifying unexplainable adventure indeed. Let me know if you want me to go back and stay the night and then also spam my comments in a different comment and hashtag after dark if you want me to go to that area and play Randonautica to see if I can find any evidence left behind. Will I find anything at all? I don't know. Maybe not. But if I can try and solve someone's placement, or even if I can try and put some of the souls at peace and rest, then I will do my best to do that. So let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see from me next. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Make sure that you always stay kind, happy and positive everywhere you go. And until the next unexplainable adventure, way out.